I'm obsessed with my artisan hi-hats. I'm also obsessed about football, or footy, as we call it back home. I'm obsessed with Finn. Finn, Finn came about 22 months ago, and he's completely changed everything. It's given me a chance to see what it was like for my mum and dad growing up, and having a kid that's obsessed with uh, sticks as opposed to sweets. I've never said he's going to play the drums, but because there's drums around the house, I guess it's, it's, it's a natural thing that he's wanted to do. Who knows, he might grow up and get a, a proper job. He might learn guitar or something one day. But here we go. I'll just let him, let him have his say. It's important with the windows I get at home to make sure that we spend a lot of time together and I get to do, I get to do daddy stuff. Okay, I'll give you another sting or stroke roll and then, then I'm gonna do some more talking. Well done, mate, that's good. Now he's gonna eat the stick. Ah, oh, I like that. I'm not really hitting me. <laughs> Do we? He's changed, he's changed hell of a lot in my life. I get up a lot earlier these days. I've got really good at changing nappies when I do it. Little, little things like having breakfast with your son, playing music for the first time to your son. I just can't imagine my life without Finn there. It's, uh, it's all changed for the better. And he's brought so much to my life that uh, I just, I can't imagine it. I'm also obsessed about football, or footy as we call it back home in Birmingham. My uncle Robert took me down to my first Blues game. Well, I must have been about two, and I was hooked on it from, from there on. Even though the football at Birmingham wasn't that good back then, we were in the lower division. I followed the team all the way through my life. Whether I'm on the road, I'll always check websites to see how we're doing, and it's a nice way of keeping in touch with home as well. But I also love to play football. Um, it puts me in a great brain space, and I actually think about nothing else when I'm on the football field, which is good. I think it's good for any of us to have something in life that gives you a bit of, bit of a space. I think about the ball, I think about moving around, I think about trying to get around some of my mates and have a bit of a, bit of a laugh with them, so it's, it's good. And it's, it's good for the body as well, it gives you a, good, a really good workout as does playing the drums. And uh, people, some people say I shouldn't really play football, so what I do do is play with people that I know who are gonna be uh, safe and not, and, and not hurt me, because that's very important. I need to go and play the drums, obviously. Playing up here at the Field of Dreams three days a week, it's, uh, it's good, it's good for the lungs, good for the heart. So I'm very grateful today to have Beast Mode Soccer bring a few boys together for a, a little game to uh, show you guys what we do and how we have fun up here. Wish me all the best. I'm obsessed with my artisan hi-hats. The hi-hats are really important for me and, and, and give me the ability to change anything. At most gigs I play on, I use artisans. And I move around from 14s to 15s, but my obsession is definitely with the 15s. I've gone from t to t that sort of weighty, heavy feeling. Actually, the bigger the hats they are, the harder they are to play. But it's still, still because of the sheer size and the sound of it, it makes you play in a certain sort of way. They're very swishy, easy to get around, and there's so many different sounds within a 15-inch eye hat. I mean, you could put one of these up as a crash as well. <laughs> they sound, they sound really thuddy and musical. And with the kit I, I play, my kit's pretty uh, dead and deep sounding. So big cymbals work anyway. So. 15 inch hats are an absolute, absolute, in fact, I'll reverse that. The kick and the snare are a compliment to the hats because these are the main babies. Most of the gigs I do with, with uh, James Blunt, Robbie Williams, uh, playing with the feeder guys, 
These hats, they're not too intrusive, but they're, they're constantly there throughout. They'll do anything I need them to do. Look how much room there is to play on here. Play anywhere around here. And they look beautiful as well, don't forget. <laughs> Artisan of his hi-hats for me, and I'm not prepared to look at any of the range that they're bringing out. This is me. That's why I'm obsessed with these hats. They're the most musical hi-hats I've come across.